All right. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Quad Cortex from Neural DSP. This is just the box. It's behind it. Ha! Hello, everybody. Okay, Quad Cortex, day one. What's the first thing you're gonna do? Probably you're gonna open it up and it's gonna have this screen up here, which is a... It's this kind of British-y sounding. Yeah, I think it's a Marshall. Yeah, okay. But you are gonna to wanna to make your own presets because you don't sound like, maybe you sound like, maybe you were the guy who made that preset at the Neural Factory. Or if you're me, you just want a high gain amp that sounds sounds good and usable, and that, that ain't that ain't the sound you're going for. So you click on the name and it brings you to kind of this home screeny looking thing. And you can cycle through each bank and look at all the factory presets that they made, which is good, but it's not what you want. You want your own. So you go to my presets and all the banks are empty, unless you've already done this and you've got a handful of your own. But this is brand new. Remember in this simulation idea concept, brand new, you've never seen it before. So we're gonna pretend that it's brand new and you're gonna make your own high gain amp, which will sound, no, which is right here. So I just click on this name and it gives you a map for which you can lay out your amp setup. Your, and it will sound so delightful. It'll sound so pretty. Not like that. It'll sound, you know, gamey. So how do you add stuff? I see that plus button? You just poke it, tab it with your finger. Brings up this list of stuff you can add. And to start, we want an amp. And we know we want a high gain amp. And you know what I've been digging lately is the... Yeah, Soldano lead, or uh, excuse me, solo lead. Sounds terrible. Let's add a cabinet, poke it again, and a cabinet, and I, I'm not gonna be too picky right now. Let's just go with uh, California 412 Stand OS, that vintage series. Ah, that sounds vintage-y, uh, vintage 30s-y. I'm not even gonna mess, well, let's go into the amp, yeah. So you poke it and you can you can change stuff about what's inside, the mics, the, yeah, etc. I don't care about that too much, except these are all, because this is in stomp mode, they're all assigned to these, these different foot switches. So I wanna change that, cause I don't wanna be jamming along one day, you know, twinkle twinkle little star or whatever, and accidentally step on the B switch and turn off my cab sim, that would be bad. So I'm just gonna, see this little X right here? You just poke that X and Sim. Uh, same thing with a cabinet. Don't want to accidentally turn that on. It says it's assigned to A. Oh, I don't want to turn the gain down though. Some of you might like more gain. Some of you might like less. I'm one of those guys who likes less. And since this is me and I'm making it for me, according to my preferences, you'll deal with it. It's mine. It's a little like muddy. Let's, uh, oh, let's turn this off. So I'm gonna click X and the a button will not turn the amp off. Uh, click done, poke it again, and I'm going to add an overdrive. What kind of overdrive am I gonna add? Let's add, uh, let's see, green 808. I think, no, wrong one. Uh, hit the myth. That's friggin' terrible. Let's, uh, oh, I just tap the name, change device, and I get the, oh, let's do a Friedman BOD. Baby! And how's that? Oh, lots of game. And I like that tight knob. <laughs> I'm gonna add the tight. I like it tight. But what are you gonna do now that the overdrive is behind the amp? Well, I'm just gonna take it, I'm gonna poke it with my finger, and I'm gonna drag it up front and drop it right in front of it. Oh, I like that, don't I? But it's noisy, let's add a gate. Everybody loves a gate. So hit the plus, and I scroll to utility and simple gate. That's cool. Let's take that, let's move it up front. Delightful. You can adjust that, of course, if you want. Um, I kind of like, it seems fine where it says, oh, by the way, yeah, you can adjust it by, you know, doing this type of thing, uh, but you can also just turn the knobs. And by the way, there's an undo button. And it really, he's not doing what I like. Huh. Good enough. I'm happy with that there. It's assigned to be. I don't ever want to turn that off. I might want to adjust it, but I don't want to turn it off. What do I maybe want to turn off? Let's add a, let's add an EQ. Let's add a lo-fi. Lo-fi is fun. There's a high cut and low cut. What's that look like? Ah, okay, I'm going to change the slope. 24 seems good. And the, I'm going to cut 
at, ooh, not that much. Yeah. Let's bring the highs down. Not enough highs. Ugh. I'm gonna add some dBs to that, make it louder, just in general. Yeah, just, just one point. Assigned to B, that's good, but I, I like it to be assigned all the way down here at H. So I'm just gonna poke it. Assign foot switch. Press the target foot switch to assigned. H. Dunk. Let's play something lo fi. What does it sound like? What else might I add to this? I could turn it on and off. There you go. Let's add a, what do we got? Pitch. Heck yeah, let's add a drop pedal. Take the drop. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it in front of my overdrive. Some people don't do that. Some people put it behind the overdrive, which is fine. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, yeah, let's do four semitones. Really super heavy, right? <laughs> Good, assigned to B. I actually want it assigned to F, because that's where I think I'm gonna step when I step on it. And I want to offer right now. That's drop A, that's I guess that's I guess that's F. Alright, cool. Let's uh turn it off. You know what I'm gonna do too? I'm gonna show you a neat trick that I like. I've been doing this lately. I add another pitch and uh, just the same thing. I'm gonna take it and put it all the way in the front, even in front of the gate and check this out. I'm gonna take the pitch uh, drop and I'm gonna crank it all the way up two octaves. Now check this out. This is my, my lowest string. <laughs> Why would you use that sound? It's terrible, I know, but we don't use it like that. I just take it and see this mix knob? I'm gonna roll this all the way back down to uh, like 3%. Why would I do that? Well, this sound that you're hearing, this, I take it and I just, just Adds a little bit of color, a little bit of sparkle back into your your rage. So let's see. That's assigned to B. I want that assigned to E. Assigned to E. Yeah. Some people might find that to be a fun thing to use. Others don't. Uh, let's turn those off right now. You know what? Let's add something else to the end of this. Uh, let's add. Delay, of course. What kind of delay do I want? Digital delay, ping pong delay, tape delay. Let's just do ping pong delay. Noise and simple. Let's open that puppy up. Uh, how's this sound? That'll do. Let's do, let's assign that to, uh, actually, since I'm, I'm gonna put that all the way over here at H. So let's assign to H and I'll take this and I'll assign that to bleh, G. Okay, so if I've done this right, what's A? Oh, A is my overdrive, I do want that A on. So E is the, is the color drop, F is the heavy drop, G is the, oh, cool, the low fi We got it where we want it. Let's uh, turn these puppies off. Cool. Uh, I like it. I'm going to use it. I'll click save. Save! What do we name it? Uh, gain. I want to add an I in there, otherwise, it's just going to be gan. Gains. Cool. Here's the other cool thing about this. Now it's saved there forever. 
I can go back and I can reference it wherever I want. Let's say I'm playing in the factory library and I grab bank number six and I grab something called Toxic Synth. Well, I have no idea what this sounds like. That is one hell of a rig there. Gosh, that sounds cool. Uh, not gonna mess with it right now. I just wanna go back to my heavy gain thing. It's under my presets for bank two gains. Maybe I don't really like that cabinet though. I'm gonna be picky about the cabinet now and I'm gonna change device to a orange, a range PPC. I think that's an orange anyway. Somebody in the comments will tell me if I'm wrong. Please do. I'm here to learn, assigned to B. I don't want to be able to turn it off. What's it sound like? Still vintage 30s, but either way, I'm done. I click save, and now you know how to do your own preset from the quad cortex. Uh, and by the way, uh, if you follow me, I think, on my quad cortex, uh, the app, it's another thing for mobile, app a mobile app on this that you can i can i'll sh i'll make this shareable and you can change it and make it perfect however you think you should thank you so much subscribe click like tell me you love me and follow